What's good, y'all? I'm Daniel Omach. Welcome to The Freestyle. Today we're going to talk about biking, why I love it so much, and a guide to purchasing perhaps your first bike. Let's get it. So after college, I started living and working here in New York City. And I was thinking about different ways to commute. I would see people on their bikes, and I got very curious. So one day I went ahead and pulled the trigger. I didn't do that much due diligence, but I ended up getting a great single speed bike. And it took me all over the city. So some of the reasons I love biking, it's the best way to see a city, in my opinion. Biking gets you to see an area so quickly, but you're still on the ground. You can see, oh, this street is bumpier than this one. This one has this cross street that is a little dangerous. You feel it in a different way. Another thing I love about it is that for transportation costs, it's a one-time cost forever. You can also city bike, which is cool. That's sort of a different conversation, but when you have your own bike, that is a one-time cost to get anywhere you want forever. So let's talk about my bike a little bit. This is my second bike. It is a State Bicycle Company Black Label V2 single speed bike. I'll put a link in the description to you know the bike so you can read more specs and details. But in short, it's quite fast and it's quite light. It's just over 17 pounds, gets me everywhere I need to go in the city. And yeah, I love it. So I went with the, the chrome finish, as you can see, and the compact drop bar. I'm sure you've seen on bikes, they have different kinds of, of bars here, right? Some of them are just a horizontal type, etc. I went with compact drop bars because it gives me more variety within my ride. I can grab it in different areas, you know, down here, up here, where the brakes are. Uh, and that's a lot of fun for me. So before landing on this particular bike, I looked at a lot of different bike companies. Fuji, Giant, Surly, Bianchi, Throne. And I looked at those bike companies because they're sort of more popular in the single speed space. So you know, do your research, go to a bike shop, ask questions. Um, but that's sort of what I did. Mind you, this is my second bike. I actually have a crazy story about getting my first bike stolen, but then finding it again. I'll save that for another video. Uh, but the takeaway is never give up, ever. So let's cover the steps in purchasing a bike. I think there are four key steps. The first one is deciding between single speed or a geared bike. I went with single speed, as I mentioned. Look, single speed just means a lot what, like what it sounds like. It's you have one speed, you have one gear. There's no thinking about what gear do I need to be in, what terrain am I on? Is it uphill? What should I do? Uh, what you need to think about is, what is your terrain? Do you have a ton of uphill like every single day? Well, maybe think about that because if you have a single speed bike, you're going uphill every single day, that's gonna be you know a good amount of exertion. But on the flip side, great workout. People can do it, it's not impossible, but yeah, it's tough. So sometimes when I'm going over the Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge, Williamsburg Bridge with this thing, you know, it's a little bit of a grind, but I love it. Um, and it gets the job done for me. And more times than not, I'm on more flat uh, terrain and it's just very simple to have this. So some of the benefits of a single speed bike are low maintenance, basically no cleaning. Because there are no gears, there's no gear derailleur or a gear hub, you don't have a lot of maintenance around, oh, my gears got messed up or I need to make sure they're working the right way. And geared bikes are also just like they sound. They have gears. So some of you maybe are familiar with gears in cars. You know, you're in different gears for different levels of speed, for different terrain. For, and you know, the, the big benefit with geared bikes is that versatility. So if you're riding in a more variable setup where there might be a ton of hills, a ton of different terrain, you'll see people often go with geared bikes. Um, but honestly, here in Brooklyn, I see a lot of single speed bikes. That's like, it's kind of the Brooklyn waves. If you want to be cool, <laughs> shout out. One con to geared bikes is they require more maintenance. You know, they require that cleaning because you have the shifting element, the gear hub, you know, they require a lot more maintenance and you have to pay attention to that. Another piece is they tend to be more expensive, right? It's more hardware going on. There's more of a mechanism there um, that's on the bike. And in line with that is they tend to be a bit more heavy. 
Uh, in my experience, I could be wrong there. You know, there are obviously some extremely light ones that like the Lance Armstrongs of the world ride, but um, yeah, they they can be heavier because they have more machinery on the vehicle. Step two is deciding on your budget. Um, I'd say if you're in the zero to three hundred dollars range, you should look to Craigslist. Craigslist could be really helpful. Bikeexchange.com, and there are a few other websites, but I've seen Craigslist be really successful for a lot of folks. If you're in the five hundred to a thousand dollar range, I think I would go to a bike shop, and I mean I would go to a bike shop anyway, and just see what your options are. But go to a local bike shop and and ask around about you know good bikes in that range, especially if you already have an understanding of are you going single speed or are you going geared. And then if you're higher than a thousand, I mean, you can start to look at certain geared bikes like, well, if you're higher than like 1500, geared bikes like Specialized, Cannondale, and similar ones. Third step would be something that I've referred to a lot already, go to your bike shop. Go to a lo local bike shop, ask questions around the bikes that they have in inventory, uh, the bikes that they would recommend. These are folks where, you know, this is what they do, this is their job. They're going to know a lot of the bike options depending on what you ask for. Do you want an upright ride? Do you want a ride where you're sort of over like I have here? All these questions, right, around fit. What kind of tires do you want? How comfortable versus fast? Balance, they'll help you suss out the exact kind of bike that you want and narrow down your list of not only bike companies, uh, but bike styles as well. And the fourth step I'd say would be to pull the trigger and buy a bike. So you can do this in store or online. Um, you know, in store is always a great bet. Summer's here, it's on the way. You may wanna get a bike very soon, be able to ride it, take in the weather, understandable. You might find that the local bike shop doesn't have the exact bike you're looking for, more often than not, you can order it to that bike shop, pick it up there. Maybe there's a small fee that you have to pay for them to help you put it together and things like that. But that's what I'd recommend. That's what I did with this bike. I ordered this State Bicycle Company bike straight from the website, from State Bicycle Company. And then I ordered it to Ride Brooklyn, um, basically my local bike shop. Went and picked it up and haven't looked back since. In conclusion, I recommend you get yourself a bike. I'll say it again, my first bike that I purchased here in New York City is the best purchase I've ever made in my life. And I just got a PS5 recently, but my bike was a better purchase. It's changed my life, makes me feel more connected to the city. It's a new form of exercise that you know I, I didn't really anticipate being such a part of my life. And then, as cheesy as it might sound, I feel more connected to the earth, to the planet. It just is, it feels like one of the most natural tools ever created for humankind to just, we paddle our feet and we move. Philosophically, that is beautiful to me. Biking is a really special element of my life now. I recommend you give it a try. I think purchasing your own bike gives you an unbelievable sense of freedom. It surpassed my expectations. So. I love bikes, I love biking. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But yeah, thanks for watching. This is the Freestyle. Be safe, riders. Talk to you very soon. Peace.